match to this um, maximum benefit point. So it will it will rise the, the magnetic uh, or the uh, mechanical energy creation will rise into the load as it slows down to meet this perfect point. At which point it can deliver power uh, at its maximum rated speed. And so all of these things can be engineered into it so that it will have similar characteristics to a, a normal motor, uh, but still run on these principles. So here we have a situation where we can uh, put a certain amount of energy in, probably get elect, uh, at least 85% of the electricity back out, and we can create motor torque on uh, both what we put in and what we get back. So um, this is uh, the... Uh, secret of the uh, electric motor of the future, and um, uh, there's only a few other things I'd like to show you at this time. So let's do a quick COP analysis of our new motor uh, topology. If we assume, uh, in system assumptions here, if we assume that our electrical recovery can be 85%, and 85% for a DC to DC converter or one of these systems is uh, certainly achievable. Um, many people have built systems based on John Bedini's uh, ideas where recovery is higher than this. So let's also assume uh, that our mechanical energy production is approximately 70%, which basically means we can produce 70% uh, mechanical energy from our electrical input. Now, obviously, this is all totally under unity. This is not an over unity machine. So let's take a look at a hypothetical COP analysis. If we start with an electrical input of 100 units of energy, and we can get 85 units back, then our net electrical input here is only 15 units of energy. If our mechanical energy produced is 70% of the total magnetic field available for the attraction process, then the attraction process, the mag total magnetic field over here, is equal to our input and our output. So this is the total magnetic field. So we have 185 units of magnetic field energy. So if we have 185 units of magnetic field energy times our 70% uh, efficiency, we get 129.5 units of mechanical energy produced. If we uh, divide our... Um, output by our input here, we see that the machine is capable of producing a COP of 8.6. Now, this is starting to look good. Remember the COPs.